This is the Athlete of the Week, and it's brought to you by Diamond Point and Sox Center here on Mid-Minnesota Sports. And with us today is a Melrose football player. I think we can tell that. This is Brady Hellman for the Dutchman. Well, Brady, let's start out. Uh, tell us about your family, okay? Who's in your family? Oh, I got my mom, Autumn, my dad, Frank, my brother, Adam, who's also on the football team. He's a junior. And my sister, Jordan, is in her second year of college at South Dakota State. Okay, and you're a senior now. Yep. Can you tell us uh, about Melrose football in general? When did you get going, and, and what is the process to become, then, a varsity football player? When did you start? Uh, I started in fourth grade, little guy football, and have been playing ever since. So. And so when you start out in fourth grade, are you wearing pads? Uh, we did. We don't, like, anymore, but what, back when I played, we did. So. Okay. What do you think about that? Because I'm always interested in how do you get more kids to come out for football? Because I want to talk about your class, which has a lot that are playing. But uh, what is, again, the process? Do you like wearing pads or not? Or what, what, what do you think about that? Um, when I was younger, I liked wearing pads. It was just like a cool experience to first time wearing pads and get to hit someone else and not even do it in your backyard with no pads on. So I liked it mm -hmm. when I was a fourth grader. And so then as a junior high player, uh, how did you see your developing as, as a football player? That the, the position that you play, you're a running back and not becoming an lineman and things like that. How, what was your process? Um, just went to the weight room, got faster, got stronger. You just always try to be the best every time you get on the field is all I really, all I really did. Mm -hmm. 21 seniors on this team, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What is it with your class that, uh, how would you describe it that uh, this is why so many guys are coming out for football for Melrose? Um, our senior class is more, like we're, we're a brotherhood. We've been together. We've always had a big class ever since fourth grade, really. So it just developed into a strong bond over the years. And everyone just likes being together and likes the idea of what we can do together as a team. And that's why I think we have so many people out. As you break it down, too, I'm sure you've got some characters, let's say, on the team. Uh, oh, yeah. Who are some of the guys that you would say are very intense about playing? Uh, some of the strongest, like, intensity I've seen in the game is, like, Owen Hoppy's always really aggressive in his game. Tanner Roski's really aggressive, and there's a few others. Roberto Reyes really aggressive. Mason, for his size, is really aggressive, and we just have a lot of aggression. And... You need that, though, out there. I see, like, your last ball game, Roberto, he, he was after people, wasn't he? Yeah, he's, yeah he, was, he was feeling good last game, I bet. Yeah. Another thing, too, I suppose, you've got to have some guys that uh, it's intense, but you also have to have your lighter moments and have some fun. Who are some of those guys? Um, Sam Austin keeps it pretty light on the sidelines. Peyton Rodemacher, Sam Bushman, they're all always making jokes no matter what's going on in the game. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to get back to you being a running back uh, and becoming a better running back. How would you describe yourself as a runner? Are you kind of a are you a shifty runner out there? No. No. <laughs> you, you like how would you describe yourself? Uh, I'd describe myself as uh, finding the first hole and hitting it as hard as I possibly can and running over anyone and that stands there. It's pretty much ball, shotgun. They're going to run. Hellman has a hole up the middle, cuts out to the left side, still on his feet, and gets to nearly midfield. A good gain again for Brady Hellman. You also, though, have to have patience. I can recall one run, you're behind your brother, and you were really actually touching him, weren't you, as you were running? Yeah, it's. I just have a lot of trust in our front five, so if I know if I follow them, I'll get a hole and get a good gain. So. so second and five now, Nelson in the shotgun, and they will run. And it's going to be Hellman behind the blocking of the other Hellman. And it's up to the 42. Brady Hellman running behind Adam Hellman. Because, again, it's not a type of thing. You just don't get it and just run as fast as you can, right? What do you, what do you see when you're running? Um, I see blocks develop. Some of the plays are a little bit slower, and you have to wait a little bit. So you wait for linemen to get to their guys, and then they do their job, push them all the way, and you find seams and just hit them hard. Another player that I'd like to highlight is Regan Nelson, your quarterback, because, again, he played all last year. He's your starter again this year. What is he like in a huddle to where when, say, like, again, your last game, it was kind of intense at the end. What is he like then to kind of, I suppose, calm everybody else down? Um, he's very level-headed. He's never too high, never too low. He really understands that he leads the team in the huddle, and he knows he has to keep us calm and 
make sure we all know what we're doing and explain stuff once, maybe twice, so he knows we don't mess up. After practice today, I noticed a, a lot of talking. What were you guys talking about? Um, we were just like we were just talking about schedule. We know it's a big game coming up. We have to make sure we're all prepared and have our minds right and eating, sleeping, drinking healthy. We just have to be best prepared as we can for these guys. And do you feel everybody follows that message pretty good? Yeah, everyone. This is the time of year everyone gets pretty serious about football. There's no staying up till 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. Everyone knows this is the time you have to really kick it down to win games. One aspect, too, that I like about Melrose tradition with the football is after a win, you come over towards the track, and you're looking up in the stands. I'm sure you see your family, your friends, and uh, just your teammates, too. Talk us through and take us uh, through what do you see and what do you feel at that time when you come over and face the crowd? Um, after a win, we always sing the school song. It's just something we've been doing for a long time, and it's just really nice knowing that all your fans are here, all your or friends and family, and that you get to sing the school song because you won, and just a great feeling just adds on to the win at the end of the game. Yeah, because when you spell out Dutchman, you're pretty high, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's a very good feeling. Um, what else are you involved in at school? Nothing much. It's I used to be in a few sports, but now it's just football. Okay. All right. Do you uh, work outside of school? Do you have a job? Yeah, I work at Schmitty's Gas Station in Freeport. All right. What do you do there? I cook food, work the register, talk to people. Okay. You cook. You cook what? Are you a good cook? Um, I'd say I'm one of the best cooks there. It's just make pizza and corn dogs. All right. And after high school then, being a senior, uh, what are kind of the, the plans that you have? Um, I've been looking into going to Bemidji State and uh, going for elementary education or some kind of education. Is that right? Do you want to teach? Yep. Okay. Uh, what led you down that road then, too? Uh, I, I imagine you have to have kind of a role model as uh, teachers at school. Where are you going with that? Um, well, it was just like Ryan Marshall has always been. He was my coach back in basketball. He's been my coach since I was a freshman. And he's just the way he does everything out on the field and in the classroom. He's just really nice to be. If I could be like him, it would be amazing. So, You know, I've been watching him, too, because I saw him play in high school. <laughs> I watch him progress, too. I agree completely. He will be a head coach in whatever sports he, he chooses, but uh, he's just more than a coach. He's a really good teacher, isn't he? Yeah, he really, he really understands people. He, he knows everyone here pretty good, and he knows how they work and how to teach them, and he's, really, he's not too over the top, and he keeps it calm and really teaches someone before just yelling at them. Mm-hmm. But there's that uh, fine line, too, of kind of being a friend or your buddy, but yeah. not really, right? Yeah. Like, he like he still is a coach, and he still can be hard on you, but he, he knows the line between being too nice and being too much of your friend and doing his job as a coach. And out of the shotgun, it's going to be Hellman to try to get the hole open, and he got the first down run. Hellman just going straight ahead. As you uh, progress through the season, you play some of these tough teams. You played peers already. You hope to get them again. What does it take for a, a Melrose team to beat some of these teams? What do you have to do? Um, well, I think we have the ability to beat any team we go against. It's just mindset. We can't make stupid penalties, can't mess up on plays, can't miss blocks. We just have to do our job. If we do our job, I feel we're as good, if not better, than any team we'll face this year. Okay. Well, you know, it's been fun watching you grow as a football player, too, and uh, I like your style out there. <laughs> football is you hit people once in a while, right? Yep. Yep, and you do that well. So you keep it going, okay, and thanks for being with us. Thank you. All right, that's Brady Hellman. He is the Athlete of the Week, presented by Diamond Point in Sock Center.